All right, what's going on guys? This is going to be part two. Okay. Uh, it's going to be part two on the 2010 Hyundai Sonata. Uh, my rear steer knuckle came in the mail today. So that's what we're going to be replacing today. Um, Y'all seen in my other video that looking like this here if I can get it cleared up there we go so since I got a new one ordered the other day came in today which is today's Friday so that's what we're gonna be doing today all right I went ahead and took my bungee strap down move that out of the way um, I need to be having this actually placed up on something but it'll do for right now I'll be getting this out too and yeah, what I'm going to start in doing now is to get this ball joint out there's a carter pin underneath if y'all can see that which I've already got it pretty much loosened out So I'll be back on that here in a minute. All right, so I got the carter pin out. That nut up here is a 17 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and get that out of there. And once I get that loosened up, take your hammer, hit right here up here on the knuckle piece. It should pop that. Uh, should pop this uh, upper con uh, this upper control arm out. So. We'll get that done here, here now. Okay. Takes a couple swings. But if you can hit back here, you can kind of see where I've been hitting at. Well, if you can whack that a couple of times, that piece will come out just like that. All right. So, you got that. Next thing. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take and part of the bolt out or the nut for the shock and get the shock moved out of the way and then I can go ahead and come around here on these stabilizer bars and get those off um, but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and take this little sensor wire out that's for the ABS. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and start on the shot and get the rest of it out. And we'll keep moving on. All right. I went ahead and took. God dang it. I need to get a brick. But I went ahead and took this off. Removed this. This here is a little bit of a bigger. But if you can get a, uh, be careful and not to break it. I right, got it. But be careful that you don't break this because this is plastic. But all I done was took a pair of needle nose. You can use flat uh, a flathead screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver would probably be better. But pry this out, and this also I guess serves as a magnet too. I don't know why I say he's not doing it right. Clear it up. Now, wouldn't hurt to go ahead and clean that off. So I'll be nice and clean. Alright. Just wipe it off or whatever. You don't have to worry about dust and all that stuff too much. Just because all it is, it is a magnet. But that is your ABS sensor. Just take and move it out of the way. So I got that off. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and jack this up. And I'm going to move my jack stand 
more up underneath the car. I'm gonna take my jack and put it up underneath the lower control arm. Cause when you go to remove this, it, this here is probably gonna end up dropping. So this needs to be braced up some. Uh, keep tension on it. So we'll do that now. All right, so I went ahead and got my jack. Actually, that needs to be further back over here, but be fine because that's where my jack was. I don't have a, a spare one, but just make sure you keep your jack up underneath there, jack it up a little bit. And that way it keeps tension off all your other bolts. So that way you can get them out a little easier. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the shock, get the bolt from back here on the shock. This thing will clear up. Y'all can see it right there. So I'm sure that I think that was a 17 too. I think all these here are 17s, matter of fact. So go ahead and do that and get that shock out. Won't have to, I don't think we'll have to worry about unbolting it up here. Cause all we're doing is just unloosening that, pulling the shock out. And uh and so that way we can just go ahead and replace this part. So we'll go ahead and get this started now. Alright, excuse me on that bolt. Not a 17, it's a 19 for the shock underneath here. Um if I said 17 on the rest of these, I meant 19. That's a 19. That's a 19. Yeah, they're 19s. Every one of the rest of them are 19s. So, 19 millimeter. All right, so that just clears that up. So, I'm gonna get ready to get the shock out. All right, I'm back. All right, so I got everything off. Got that, move that out the way. Shocks uh, done. Lower control arm's done. So all you have to do now is just pull it out. That's it. Might have to wiggle it out, but it will come out. Move your bolts out the way. That was about, I don't want to get these mixed up. Yep, because I'm going to clean those up too, at the top, and that's the bottom. All right, there you go. So you don't have to move the shot at all, don't have to move it, just got to unbolt it. So there's the old part. might be due for some new shocks because they're not supposed to be that easy to press up but that'll be another day that will be another day all right so all it is is in reverse just don't forget where you put your bolts and don't forget where you put everything but like i told you on the first videos i'm going to show you all how to go back and install everything so that'll be on this well actually that will be on a part three video this is part two so i'll come back with part three reassembling so see y'all then all right bye